Hi team, I wanted to show you this little demo I just got from Advantech, the little WISE 4012E. This is, the E is for an engineering uh, developer kit, but here is the actual WISE itself, and this is just a modified version of the actual 4012. Uh, In this case, it has a little bit different uh, features, but what we have on here is just a little circuit board that goes into the connector so that we can adjust some of the I.O. And it's powered off of 5 volts uh, off of a USB connector instead of 24 volts like a normal one would. Uh, we've got a couple uh, analog inputs on there. The first two are analog inputs, then it has a couple of digital inputs, and then it has two uh, relay outputs that are shown with uh, LEDs there on the little circuit board. So. What's really interesting about this is that the I.O. Uh, goes up through a Wi-Fi connection up to Dropbox. And so when we go, there's a web page here that I can go to the web page and can configure it. When it initially comes up, it actually comes up as a... Uh, as an access point. So when I first turned it on and I went to my wireless, it actually showed as an access point on my computer. But then I reconfigured it so that it accessed my office network. So I, when I go to my office network, it actually shows up as an unknown device. And this number here comes from the specific ID number of, of this little WISE device. And that shows up on the uh, identification here, and this is on the uh, the web server page of the WISE itself. So once it's all done there, I can go to the I.O. status, and if I uh, change a digital input here, change the digital input, then over here the digital input shows on the page. And then I can go, there's a lot of things we can do with this. We can configure the I.O. to different things. But most interesting, if I go to the data logger, and I'm going to start the data logging by, oops, I need to re-log in. So here's the login page. So I'm just going to go ahead and log in. And once I log in, I'm going to go to the data logger page. I've started logging at 10 intervals of 0.1 seconds. So that's logging every one second. And I'm going to go to the cloud upload. And before I started, I actually had to configure, go up here to the configuration, and I had to configure the, uh, the cloud. And I had to turn on Dropbox. When I turned on Dropbox, it opened up an app for my Dropbox that uh, gave me a code that I had to link the two together, but it was really easy to do. And so once I did that, then I could actually start the cloud upload. And I'm uploading it every 600.1 seconds. So I'm uploading it every minute. And then hit submit. And make sure I submitted the uh, logging so that it's logging. And then, here, so here's my Dropbox file. So once I connected the two together under my Dropbox apps, there's the WISE cloud log and the specific unit, signal log, and a folder created. And here's one file I've already created. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the upload process, which again is set for about every 60 seconds, every one minute. And if I go and open up this file, and see that there's a bunch of data here. Digital output, digital output, analog input, analog um, input. And I had set it for an alarm. And so once I graphed, once I graphed this, because I had set it for alarms uh, on high low on the analog input. So here's the graph, and here's the analog input. And you can see it goes up and down based upon some numbers over here, which are voltages, uh, see one point, that's probably 1.5 volts there, because it's based upon my USB voltage, so it only goes up to about four and a half volts. And then uh, I have a high alarm here on the red, you can go see it goes up to one, and then the blue is the uh, low alarm. When the analog voltage goes down, there's the alarm, the blue alarm 
uh, going for the, the low value going on, and that's here on the right. So it's pretty handy, and this can be set up to go to a private cloud as well, not a public cloud like Dropbox. Hit submit, the files aren't coming to Dropbox, but I'm going to change it down to every one second, 10 milliseconds, and I'm going to hit submit. Oh, I can't do it that short. I'm going to do it every, I think it is six seconds before. So I did it every six seconds. And so here's my Dropbox. There's the file that I had saved from before. And as I just kind of sit and wait, I can see my Dropbox is synchronizing. And I'll start getting files, or should start getting files anyway. If I look down here, my Dropbox, oh, look, five files added, suddenly there they come. So every time I open up one of these files, it has, right now, actually that one's blank. There we go. It has just some data points in it. And right now I'm not changing anything. So you can see it's pretty easy to set up.